Thank you. You too. 
Yeah, I'm gonna taste that. Dip it again, Lil Show him how it's done. Stop playing with my son. I can get it better than I put it in the middle of the Get it, son. Stop playing with both of my kids. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I fell off the thing. <laughs> Good morning, good people. It is Sunday. And not just any regular Sunday. It is Sunday where I am going to be going to church. And then I'm going to a Jeezy concert. Do you understand what that means? That means that I am going to cut up today. Like, today. Just today. I don't even think y'all understand what that means. So, so y'all can get a full understanding of what that means. I am going to take you guys along throughout this day. And we're just going to chill together. We're going to chill together. We're going to vibe together. Y'all going to see what's going on. Now, I'm not sure if they got, well, you know, I could bring my camera into the concert. Like, who going to stop me? Who going to tell me I can't record Jeezy? Like, really? And then after that, we're going to the address. And y'all know we gonna act up at the address. Y'all know I kind of act up everywhere I go, but tonight will be a movie. So, I'm gonna get up. Because, like I said, I do have to get ready for church. I'm gonna fix my man some breakfast. And then, oh, I gotta go to the store too. So, that's on the agenda. But I'm trying to debate if I'm going to go to the store today or tomorrow. Because today is like kind of busy. But I feel like I got time. But the question of the day is, do you really want to go to the store today? You know, all the people are going to be in the store buying their ribs and their little last minute stuff. for their little barbecue tomorrow. We're not barbecuing. But I don't want to be in those crowds. I just feel like I am capable and able to get up tomorrow morning. Right before all the people come outside. Because everybody's still going to be messed up from the night before. Go outside and go to the grocery store. I feel like I can do that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. See, see, talking to y'all makes everything be put into perspective. Just had to have a conversation. But yeah. Oh, and I know a lot of you guys said that y'all miss me vlogging. I am back. I just need to talk to myself, guys. Sometimes you just don't feel like picking up the camera. You just need a detox from stuff. And I just needed a detox. But I am back. Better than ever. And we're about to see what this year, rest of this year brings. Because the first part of this year was trying our lives. But we made it through. We stuck it out. And now it's time to go get everything that 2021 owes us. So, that's what we're doing. And you probably saying, Keith, is that a new tattoo? Of course it is. Doing things different. And I wanted a new tattoo. And I think it's really, really nice. So, I'm going to get up, brush my teeth, wash my face, get in this kitchen. And then, I'll be back.
like 6 30. and i was gonna call her a lift because hey she's 17 but no mind you i i'm not at home i'm somewhere else well half y'all know by now anyway i'm at my boyfriend's house but you know i was gonna call her a lift but something just told me to ask her. I'm like, you want mommy to call you a lift or you want mommy to come pick you up from work? Um, it would be nice if you come pick me up. So here I am, being a mother, cause that don't stop going to pick up baby girl from work. Mind you, I'm finna drop her off at the house. No, I'm finna go get breakfast first. Drop her off at the house. Go back to where I came from. <laughs> and then cook. And then take them some food. I probably chill with them. But it's just the point. Like, it would have been so much easier for her to catch a lift. But I dare not tell one of my children that I cannot come get them, pick them up, or anything. Because I'm. Um, Chilling with Faye. And he not the he the type of man. He not if they say come pick them up, he gon he like go pick them up. Like he don't he don't play about them. So, uh, you know. That's how my morning is starting off. I'm trying to fix y'all. Hold on. Let me see. Ugh, I hate this tripod. But I really need this stupid tripod. Let me see if I can fix it at this point. Hold on, y'all. We're having technical difficulties right now. I don't know how much longer this gonna last because that whole tripod just came apart and I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix it. And I don't know how to fix it right now. But I know it's broke. It don't look like it's gonna be hard to fix. It's just the point that it came apart. And I have an extra tripod at the house, so whatever but um it's holding on right now but yeah i'm on my way to go get baby girl which works out good because it made me instead of ordering breakfast for everybody it made me get up and go get breakfast because i'm telling you exactly what i was gonna do i was gonna order breakfast have it shipped to my house order breakfast for where we at in his house and then call it a day but you know Sometimes you gotta do the stuff for the betterment of the family. And if this is gonna make her feel good, then I'm gonna do it, cause that's the baby girl. And that is the benefits, like they said, that is the benefits of being the only girl in the house. You know I'm coming, cause you the only girl. You baby girl, you're the princess, so I'm coming. Yeah, I have not vlogged with you guys in a New York minute. Don't ask me why I ain't acting uppity. I ain't acting bougie. Don't ask me why. I really don't know. I just been enjoying life on the cool and living life. Period. Plus, my divorce is final. He tried, you know, let me tell you something. He tried to give me a hard time. Didn't want to sign the papers or whatnot. But let me tell you something. Through this whole process, I've been nothing but good and calm and peaceful. Like, he's needed things for from me, and I've accommodated him. Because when you want peace in your life, you don't hold no grudges. You're not bitter. You're not being evil. You're not doing none of that because you just want peace. So, even though he's been tripping with me, the way he's been tripping with me, I have not been tripping with him. At one moment, I will say that I stopped, I stopped all communication with him and the kids. And that was because he started asking the kids about my personal life. And I felt like he was out of pocket. Like, don't worry about what I'm doing. Don't question, don't question our kids about what I'm doing. When you pick up the kids, you need to be picking up the kids to specifically see the kids, not about what I'm doing. So I put, I stopped our communication. But then I had to step outside of myself because they started missing him and it was affecting them. So I had to come to the decision of if he asked them, then that's him gonna get his feelings hurt. So if you crazy enough to ask them kids about what I'm doing in my personal life, even though I told them not to talk to talk about my personal life with him, that's their day. Of course they're gonna 
say some things. You know, I can't control it. That's just the relationship they have. But if you're going to sit there and ask them about things that's going on with my personal life and get your feelings hurt, then that's on you. They don't got nothing to do with me. Because when they with you, I don't ask what you did or who you was with or what, who you had in the car. I don't care. Because I'm not with you. But he didn't want to sign the papers. He kept talking about, well, you had credit cards in my name. Mind you, he had already been served with the papers. So I have receipts showing that he was served with the, pa served with the papers and that he was ready to sign and that he would sign them. But, hold on, y'all. The thing just turned. But he got the acting all sedated. All sold out. Thinking he was gonna stop something and don't know one monkey don't never stop no show. So um ended up getting my divorce. I'm content. I can move on with my life. Whether it, whether I move on my with my life with the guy I'm with now, or I decide that even if we don't I know we're gonna work out, I feel like we're gonna work out, I hope we work out, but even if we don't I'm free to move however the hell I want to move now because I'm not married to you. There's nothing stopping me from moving on with my life. And I feel like ever since I stopped messing with him, I've been getting nothing but blessings. Blessings on top of blessings. And I've been happier than I've ever been in a long, long time. And I think that's what makes people mad. They feel like when you move on from them, you're supposed to be disgusted with life and can't go on and can't live through it. And I've just been happy the whole time because it's a sense of freedom. And it's like a freedom that I never thought I would feel because I've always been in a relationship with somebody. I've always been with somebody. I've never not been in a relationship. And to finally have that freedom and have that choice at 40, I'm enjoying it. So yeah. Okay, yeah, baby girl finna get in the car. Let me turn this little thing around. Look at her. She all happy her pain to get her. She's smiling. She's trying to act like she's not smiling, but she is. I wish y'all could see her face. Actually, y'all is gonna see her face before I turn this camera off. She all happy. Look at her trying to hide it. You happy your mama came and got you? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I feel her daughter another broken egg. I'm hungry. Give me an order to go. You tried to get me up. I you got you. Ashamed of you. You own the game. You should be ashamed of yourself. What? You tried to put me in another little. Yeah, I was in the bed. I don't care. You need to get up. I see. I was just telling them that's the price of being a princess. Cause baby, if Jacoy would have called me, he would have. <laughs> don't do him like that. He would have had to definitely call the lift. Do not do him like that. That's the price of being the only girl in the house. When I came in today, everybody was so happy to see me. They was like, "Yeah, you are a dream." I felt so sorry. Just happy to see you. Girl, I don't even know. I didn't even know they liked me like that. I did it. <laughs> Cause I, I ain't gonna lie, I be having an attitude, I be popping, I'm not popping off on my people. Like, as long as you don't make me mad, I won't pop off on you. Like this early in the morning, these customers, they was making me upset. So they ruined my whole mood. And I was happy to go to work today. I mean, like, them customers, they got the popping off with the mouth and the attitudes and they just shut my whole mood down. I was out of there. Really? You I wanted was, me to hit y'all dumb butt. <laughs> They was making me so mad. I gotta fix my tripod when I stop. You see how it's switching? Mm -hmm. It's moving, the little piece came out. But my mood changed. Night shift be cool, bro. We don't know. We just listen to music while we was working in it. But see, that's good. Night shift be cool. Jazz was like, I commend her, cause baby, at that age, you couldn't get me to work overnight. It be fun. And I don't, I be up this around this time. You know that's why I told her, I say don't face her, cause she actually be up and moving. This is, this is a, this is an early bird. Up till four five o'clock in the morning, so this right. ain't nothing. I'm cleaning up and folding clothes and stuff. Oh, uh, I told uh, Lorette not this weekend coming up because it's Father's Day, and we gonna go see his father. His father? Yeah, his dad. Uh, not Lorette, daddy. Cersei, daddy. We're gonna go see his uh, people for Father's Day. Kick it with his people. If you wanna come, you know you can come. 
but that, uh, it's gonna be that Sunday. I gotta work that Sunday, but when I get off, we're gonna go. Um, but that, that Saturday after this Saturday, after the Father's Day, uh, we was all gonna go to, uh, we was gonna take y'all to go see that Fast and Furious movie, the studio movie grill. The red say he excited. So about that makeup, you not take me to the Chinese place. Was that food good? Why oh, you yeah. it was just a water burger? Why I just it? had an orange juice. Uh -huh. They was gonna be like, dang, Roger, didn't you just get one? Thirsty mouth. <laughs> I want another one, bro. I'm thirsty. So I said we'll cause we was gonna go to a uh, the AMC movie theater, but I was like, nah, we can go sit down and eat, get a two for twenty-five. Sit down and eat, watch a good movie, recline, and just chill. I think that'll be better. So I'm gonna probably uh, order the tickets. Uh, probably Thursday. Are you still taking me to get my picture? Oh shit! Oh no no okay. no. Okay. Um, uh, I guess so. it'll probably be uh, chicken. See what time they close. Aren't you taking me off the schedule? I'm not taking you off the schedule. Make sure you look at the right time this time. I'm, I did look. <laughs> I Girl, did. Hey, drive all the way over <laughs> there. Hey, hey, we went shopping though, and I like what I got. I, I, I like it. what I got too, but I, I just want to let the start record, to go back. Let the record reflect that we went. <laughs> I did my motherly duties and took her, and they was not open. Look at all these people waiting. I'm thirsty. I want some orange juice. Get, what is some orange juice from you? You want too much. I just had some, but I you ain't got no job. But you just did it once. Well, I do got a job. They don't pay me enough. They tell me so I'm the most employed. Uh, they say we pay you too much. You the most uh, paid employee here. I said huh, huh, something y'all not doing right. I need to raise or something because this ain't good enough. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try to fix this tripod while we wait for this place to open, and I'll be right back. Budget for February, our goals for February, um, what I plan on doing different for February. So this is our February um, 